Coming to you from our GIS studios, I am Anisia Antoine, and this is your midday news brief. Minister with Responsibility for Physical Planning, Honorable Herod Stanislaus, has reiterated government's commitment to guarding the right of citizens to access all beaches on the island. The assurance comes amid public concern regarding the proposed Cabot St. Lucia development at Cap Estate. The Cabinet of Ministers has approved the lease of the Queen's Chain adjacent to the development site for 75 years. However, Honorable Stanislaus says the approval does not bar St. Lucians from accessing the Kazabar Beach. Leasing of the Queen's Chain, the Minister says, has been practiced for decades. The Physical Planning Minister says the government is aware and sensitive to the concerns surrounding the continued operation of Marjorie's Restaurant, which has been a staple at the Kazabar Beach for more than 20 years. Cabot St. Lucia has submitted a master plan to the Department of Physical Planning. Honorable Stanislaus says the department is processing the proposals in phases. Upon final approval, the minister stressed there will be no restricted access to the Kazabar Beach. Top achievers from the constituency of Grizzly have been awarded for their successes. The 9th Annual Grizzly Top Achievers Ceremony recognized the outstanding academic performances of students from the constituency in the common entrance examinations. Parliamentary Representative for Grizzly Honorable Leonard Montout congratulated the top achieving students on a job well done and spoke of the importance of recognizing the youth and their achievements. This year's top achievers from Grizzly are as follows Christian George, Thierry Morai, Brian Seeley, and Kyle Charles. Also in receipt of special awards in second place are Ava George, Menelik Nurse, Brielle Asson, and Zoan Aurelier. The top achievers were rewarded with laptops and plaques for their exemplary performances. The Grizzly Constituency Top Achievers Awards took place on Tuesday, August 18, 2020 at the Grizzly Human Resource Centre. With the rapid onset of the rainy season, the Ministry of Health and Wellness continues to encourage individuals to maintain health and safety measures to prevent the local transmission of dengue fever. Dengue fever is one of the most common vector-borne viral diseases affecting humans and is transmitted through the bite of the female Aedes aegypti mosquito and through a lesser extent the Aedes albopictus. Four serotypes of dengue exist, however, persons receive lifelong immunity against a serotype once infected with it. Only serotypes 2 and 3 have been recorded to date in St. Lucia, with the majority of cases being in children. Householders and property owners are encouraged to inspect their household at least twice a week in an effort to contain the Aedes aegypti mosquito population. Persons are also advised to avoid the indiscriminate dumping of garbage, which also serves as breeding ground for the mosquito. This has been your midday news brief. Thank you for watching.